The OGP Report 476 is redefining well control training. As a bit of background knowledge, OGP is the International Association of Oil and Gas Producers and it's made up of uh, national oil companies, international oil companies, majors, medium and small sized oil companies. So the whole industry, this is their desire for the future of well control training. It's been put together by the OGP World Experts Group who have studied the impact of Macondo and have now come forward with their recommendations on how well control training should be taught and examined in the future. The OGP report can be accessed from the Aberdeen Drilling School website uh, along with all our course data and other material pertinent to the report. The accrediting bodies have written new uh, syllabuses for the course and as a little bit of background information, the current program of well control training requires or, or incorporates three levels. So there's an overview uh, course, a driller's course and a supervisor's course. The new recommendations that come into effect the 1st of January 2014, so you know, it is now live, have five levels of training. There is a new level two that's a precursor to formal well control training. So this is an introduction to the process, the, the mass, the formula, and the physics of well control. And from September 2014 is going to be obligatory. Everybody new to well control training will have to take level two before they can take level three, which is the new equivalent to driller's training. Both the rotary drilling and well intervention programs will change and they'll both have the, the same five levels of training uh, where level one is common for both. Level two, there'll be a separate uh, rotary drilling and well intervention course and level three will for the rotary drilling be the equivalent to the current drillers level course and the new well intervention level three will be designed for equipment operators. Level four will be on the drilling side equivalent to the current supervisors course and on the well intervention level four will be again for supervisors. The next level, level five, which is a, a new program, is going to be, I believe, common to both drilling and well intervention. And my understanding at the moment is it's going to be a modular based program and people will take the modules appropriate to their profession at the time. We come in beneath the uh, IEDC and IWCF level of, uh, of the pyramid, if you like, and we take the um, syllabuses presented by IWCF and IEDC and create our training around those syllabi. And one of the, the, the big changes now in the way forward is that, that commercial courses will be taught to the syllabus, uh, uh, the level of program that's being uh, taught and not being taught to pass the exam. There, there, there is a subtle difference in the way that teaching will take place from here onwards. The report calls for the implementation from the 1st of January 2014. The IWCF program is ready and up and running and meets that timetable and we at Aberdeen Drilling School are in line to deliver from the 1st of January also. From the 1st of September 2014, anybody who doesn't have a well control certificate will be required to take level two, followed by level three, followed by level four. Now the, the level two certificate 
is valid for five years, so it gives people plenty of time to build up their knowledge before starting level three. People who hold current certificates will uh, be grandfathered into the new process. So if you have a valid drillers or combined supervisors certificate, these will be converted into level three and four and you will carry on as, as normal. And these will need to be renewed as at present every two years. The reset policy is going to change. And with IWCF, we as the school are going to have to prove that anybody who got a mark below 65% have be, been retrained in their areas of weakness before taking a reset. So that, that, that is a major change. Now the, the changes are quite complex. We do have a chart on the Aberdeen Drilling School website that clearly identifies uh, the levels of reset uh, that's required. And I'd recommend people look at this chart to clarify it in their own mind.